Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's session on how. To. In today's session, we will see how to configure rack awareness. So in this system, the nodes are not uh, the uh, Ambari tool or the components are not aware about the rack. So rack is the thing where the actual data blocks are kept. So how to communicate so that awareness is not. Uh, available so how can we configure the rack awareness so that the uh, when you add the new nodes or when you change the configuration so or the remove the or decommission the node so rack awareness will help to improve the better performance in the application or the in the hadoop framework so in order to do the rack awareness let's check what is the current rack configuration so i am already at the node one we'll do the so the rack awareness is available inside the topology mapping data so let's go and see that the file is present inside etc hado con folder that we already see and the file we can see topology mapping data so let's cat it cat etc Hadoop con topology mapping data mm, mappings actually and we can see uh, there are these are the topology we we can see the node one is present node three is present and node two is present. So when we do, uh, when we uh, did the uh, changes at the at the time of like balancing the HDFS, at that time these racks are inserted or these rack levels are inserted. Now in case if you do not see node two and node three in this file, okay. So what you can do, uh, we can go back and add those. Uh, or this racks in the using Ambari tool but let's uh, take the report as well in order to see the racks so there is a command which is associated with the rack and that is we can fire using super user super user is hdfs F command is hdfs fsck and it's a racks so it will give us the details about the how many racks available number of data nodes are three number of rack is one so if you see here the current number of rack is one so if you if you want to sing like if you increase the rack okay so how can you reflect that change so we are going to say that currently rack is one and data nodes are three let's print this in the report format so we know the command hdfs dfs admin report and it will give us the report on each node what is the status similarly we can access that report using name node ui that we already saw in the recent tutorial so let's configure the rack rack awareness in order to configure the rack awareness we have to go to the host and we will go to the particular node so let's click on the node one we will add one of the uh, inside the host section if you see there is a set rack we can click on the set rack so on node one we will assign the rack something like that like forward slash rack zero one will remove the default rack and we'll assign the rack zero one click on ok once you've done that we can go back actually and add the similar to the rack two as well oh sorry node two as well here in the node two we'll go to the and set rack forward slash rack 
zero two. Remove the default drag. Click on the OK. We'll repeat the same step for the third node as well. But for that, we have to go back again. Click on the node three. Post actions. Set rag. And this time we'll use rag three. So that means currently there are three rags available and on each node is associated with that rag once we're done with that so if at each level you can see the host needs three component restart and all those uh, you'll see but that will fix go to the dashboard let's uh, do the host restart for, okay now even at the service level we can see the uh, component restarts so we'll redo re the restart for the all affected services we have to make sure all these components are properly restarted if these components are not restarted properly the end result or whatever we are expecting from that component will not work sometimes so suppose if you do not uh, restart yarn properly uh, when you make any changes the resource manager will not work. so this is the one of the example will not work a uh, resource manager will not work it means that resource manager will not start so you will not able to access the resources during that uh, period so it's like the kind of mandatory us when you receive a warning message to restart the components we have to go ahead and the restart most of the time when you make any configuration change these components need to be restarted for example if I add the configuration if I make any configuration change inside the HDFS conf in the advanced section it will ask me to restart HDFS services map to services yarn or some of the other component if you get such warning so restart the all the components so while doing the restart you may observe a couple of times the other component now i'm restarting the hdfs but i could see there is one message or there is one alert associated with hive service as soon as this restart is complete the other error message or the alerts will automatically get fixed sometimes if it won't get fixed then we have to manually go there check the what is the root cause of that fix the root cause and restart again so by doing that way we will able to fix the issue now one more thing about this uh, in progress activities so what are the previously done activities are also listed in the history like what i done in the last time rebalancing hdfs it gives me the our idea about what operation we are uh, doing what is the start time of the operation how long it took to complete that operation now we just restarted the hdfs component click ok now you can see the high warning message also gone similarly we will do the restart for the map reduce because that is the one of the affected component for changing the nodes with uh, associating it with different kind of racks so rack are the physical components where the actually block of data is stored so we are done with the restarting we'll go to the let's wait for the let get it refresh yeah now it is ready we can go to the component and we'll verify now how many racks are available when we check initially there was only one rack was available now we will cat the map mapping file let's do me do this let me exit out of it and I will do the cat on this mapping so I could see there are three nodes node 1 that was initially associated with uh, default rack now the node 2 is associated with the rack 2 node 3 associated with rack 3 node 1 is associated with rack 1 now we did the cat let me run the another command which will give me the idea about the racks 
and the command is hdfs fsck racks so how many racks are available uh, okay i think we need sudo access for this hdfs hdfs fsck minus racks let's try out this it's a healthy and currently i can see the racks are three and the data nodes are three we can exit it and we can conclude here we can associate the different nodes with the different racks and we'll make the aware the uh, rack awareness we can achieve thank you for watching the video you can subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Hadoop. thank you and have a nice time